With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In this problem, we have given to find the current through 10 ohm register as shown in figure. That means we have to find the current over here, which is passing through the 10 ohm resistance. Okay, so to, to find the current, consider first of all the potential over here is 0, 0 volt. So this potential, potential over here will also be 0 and here pot, uh, potential over here will be also 0. Now the potential over here will be 3 volt. Uh, the potential over here will be 4.5 volt. Consider this uh, the potential at this node is x volt. Okay. And assume the x is higher potential. Assume x is of higher potential. Higher potential. Now apply Kirchhoff's junction law or current law at the given node, at the given node. So, if you consider this as I1, this as I2 and this as I3, then according to KCL, I1 plus I2 plus I3 should be equals to 0. So, I1 should be equals to x minus 3 upon 10 plus I2 should be equals to x minus 4.5 upon 3 and I3 will be equals to x minus 0 upon 6 equals to 0. So, from here we will find the value of, uh, value of x. So, LCM of 10, 3 and 6 consider it as 120 or 60 consider it as 60 so 10 this will be 6 times x minus 3 this will be 20 times x minus 4.5 and this will be equals to 10 times x will be equals to 0 now after calculation this will be equals to 6x minus 18 plus 20x minus 90 plus 10x equals to 0. So, this will be 36x equals to 108. So, x will be equals to 3 volt. Now, we have to find the current I. Since x is also 3 volt, x the, the potential over here is 3 volt and potential over here is also 3 volt. So, you, if we can see there is 10 ohm and he, the potential over here is 3 volt and potential over here is also 3 volt. Since the potential difference, the potential difference across 10 ohm resistance is 0, 10 ohm resistance is 0. So, current flowing through this I1 will also be 0 because I1 equals to delta V upon resistance and as delta V is 0, so 0 upon something is also 0. So, answer will be 0 ampere. Okay. So, this is the answer of this problem. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.